Hello, it's June 2018. It's been over a year since my last update. I promised a video on relationships um, and I wanted to do one on my mum. I was going to say parents, but I'm going to break it down because actually my dads um, aren't as involved. So my mum, I know that she watches these videos, so this may not be the uh, easiest video to make or to watch, but uh, there's a reason it has been uh, late in coming. I'm going to cough, excuse me. <coughs> um, if I'd made this video a year ago, the content would be very different, and the intervening year has showed me that relationships change and sometimes relationships can change for the better. So my mum, I'm going to start with some negatives, so mum if you're watching this just you know, watch to the end. I feel my mum lacks confidence in being able to say this is the situation in my life and I'm not ashamed of it, I'm proud of it. Um, and instead will follow what she thinks everyone else feels she should believe. So with my transition, I I feel that she thinks she has to mourn for the person I was because that's what's expected of her, even though we never had a mother-daughter relationship. I've got an older sister, so she's got that relationship with my sister. Uh, but with me, she always came to me to do DIY jobs. You know, we never went out shopping together. In fact, the first time we went out shopping together was after I transitioned. So I feel like she's clinging on to something that was always a lie. I was never that mother-daughter type person. And it was frustrating when she wouldn't acknowledge that. Um, and I think a lot of my frustrations then impacted our relationship. Um, I will say at this time, we've got a really good relationship. So she managed to uh, use Sid quite well, but it was the pronouns, he and she, that really oh, bugged me for a long time because she just keep referring to me as she. And uh, part of the reason I want to grow a beard is almost in spite, just to make her look silly when she turns around and says she, she when I've got a full grown beard. But as I said, my um, approach to our relationship has also had an, had an impact. So I carried a lot of frustrations for a long time with mum. I tried to think, okay, she's probably the one person that would take longer than anyone else. She gave birth to uh, a girl. I don't think it helped that I used to be a uh, blonde haired, uh, little angel sort of looking child uh, and then end up looking like this. Um, and that aside, really, uh, I always also thought that <clears throat> parents would just want the best for their children, as in, you know, your aim for your children in life. Oh, I would want them to be happy, well-rounded kids or adults. Um, and I feel I'm a lot happier, uh, far more settled. All the things I've said through all my videos, you know, there's nothing but positives uh, from from my transition for, for me and how I see myself. At times I may have been more direct with mum, which she may not have liked, but I think that's more because I'm more confident in who I am. So really what I wanted to get across was relationships do change over time. Um, something within the last year has, has changed. I mean, I've been going through my transition, I think coming up six years now, and it has taken time and I think mum's got to a point where she really tries not to use pronouns and that saves a lot of issue either way. Um, she's, I mean she's not that old, she's 65 but she still does that, she'll run through everyone's name <clears throat> before she gets to mine sometimes. I mean when I was Tracy previously she called me Nigel and that was the dog so you know there's, there's those sort of parts that are, um, she doesn't mean to hurt me. Um, I don't think she's ever meant to hurt me. Um, but I have been hurt by the, the, uh, when she uses the wrong pronoun. And I guess now's my time to say from my point of view that when someone uses the wrong pronoun, 
it's like a slap in the face. It it really devalues everything those five six years that I've I've, I've been through and all those years before. So I was um, thirty four when I started my transition. All those years hiding, lying, living behind this Tracy persona that wasn't me. You know, this is me. And for people to not understand the strength, the gosh, the fear, <laughs> I mean, everything that people go through to even acknowledge that they have this issue and then do something about it, all that gets completely devalued like you're meaningless, like what you've been through doesn't matter, it's irrelevant. And uh, that's what affected my relationship with my mum for a while. Um, at times we were close and at times we were very far apart. Um, I know all relationships sort of do this action, but when it's your mum, um, obviously you, you want that support. And overall, I'm very lucky that mum has supported me. Um, and that's why it's taken so long to do this video. I, I kept going over all the negative things I could say about my mum and her approach to this uh, transition. Um, and that wouldn't have been fair to my mum at all because she actually went out and met a trans man, um, which I thought was great until she said, oh, well, you know, her mum was... Uh, sorry. Oh, dear, I've just made the mistake. Trans woman. You know, her mum uh, is is breathing, you know, for, for the son that she's lost. And for me, it just it was a way for her to back up or to justify her reaction. Whereas I think sometimes you just have to make a conscious choice to say, this is my child. I love my child. I want what's best for my child. My child is happier. Therefore, as much as it's difficult for me, it must have been more difficult for them. So I'm going to be their champion. And she wasn't able to do that. And perhaps I am asking far too much of a older generation um, and then I'd compare it to my partner's mum who's 84 and who is nothing but my champion and then I'd go around in circles again thinking well my mum's uh, sorry my partner's mum didn't give birth to me and all these arguments backwards and forwards which is why this video is probably a little rambling um, the main message I wanted to give out of this is relationships change over time and if you're struggling hold on uh, you know some people who are, are completely re rejected by their parents I don't know how parents could do that to a child I'm not a parent but I am a foster parent um, and that's harsh that's that's really harsh I can't think of anything my my foster kids would do and believe me they've pushed the boundaries on many things um, that would stop me being there for them um, just because we just we don't know other people's journeys but anyway this is not for me to judge um <clears throat> so that's the relationship with my mum at the moment things are good um we're reasonably close at the moment i would say the whole transition seems to just be beginning almost to to fade um, in that it's not the sole focus of our relationship anymore. Um, I'll do a separate video as to where I am with my um, surgeries and things, but as I say, five, six years down the line, I do have one surgery left. Um, <clears throat> it just seems now like this is normal life, and this is the point I wanted to get to. In the early days, it seemed like everything revolved around the transition and who knows and who doesn't know but in time you know it, it calms down which uh, is wonderful you can just see my dogs anyway so relationship with my mum and I will endeavour to make more videos soon and not leave it a year thanks for watching